In this video, we're going to talk about the very basics of Illustrator. So let's get going. We're going to create a new document. At the top here, we're going to make sure we choose Print, and we're going to choose A4, because this is something that we might want to print later. Press on Create, and we're going to get a white page on the screen. On the left-hand side, you can see there are lots of tools. We won't worry about all of them until later. On the right-hand side, we've got a number of tabs here. One says Properties. That's really important. And the second most important thing here is Layers. Now, before we do anything, what I'm going to do is click on my layers. I'm going to click my mouse, pick that up, and move it right to the bottom of the screen until I can see that blue line there, and then let go of my mouse. And what I've done is I've put Layers at the bottom so I can see that all the time. I'm going to go up and click Properties, and that's perfect for getting started in Illustrator. Now, if you're looking at Illustrator and you don't see these tools here and it looks different over here, simply go up here where it says Essentials and make sure that Essentials is chosen and not one of these other things here. On the left-hand side tools, you can see that we've got a black arrow and a white arrow. These are two really important buttons. The black arrow is something that we have to click almost every time we do something in Illustrator. Of all the tools that we're going to use, we're simply going to look at the Shape tool and the Text tool. So those are the only two tools we're going to be dealing with for a few videos. Let's get going. Let's click on the rectangle. Let's click and drag. And you can see that I've drawn a square on the page. Now, immediately on my right-hand side in the Properties window, you can see that I've got a white square with a black outline. That's the fill, that's white, and the stroke, that's black. Let's go to the fill, click on it, and change it to orange. Let's go to the stroke. So the outline is fat, the inside is orange. And that's how easy it is to draw shapes. Now, as soon as I've drawn a shape or typed or done anything in Illustrator, the first thing I do is go up to the top and click the black arrow. What that does is it lets me pick up my square and move it around. I can also, once I've clicked the black arrow, go to one of the corners and resize and even reshape what I drew. I can go to the sides and make it bigger in one direction or another direction, or I can go to the corners and do it all in one go. I'm going to pick that up and move it there. I'm going to go back to my properties and I'm going to make the stroke back to about two because that looks a little bit better for me. Click on the shape there and you can see that the fill is still orange, so I'm going to go and change that to yellow. And you can see here how easy it is to draw a shape, change its color. Now, the first thing that people ask me when they're using Illustrator is how do I get the background, that's the white piece of paper, how do I get a color on it? So let's do that. I'm going to delete the yellow square. I'm going to go back and click the square button, the rectangle button. I'm going to go to the corner here, right at the top, and I'm going to just click, and I'm going to drag a rectangle all the way to the bottom of that page there. I want my page to be a light blue, so let's do it like that. I don't want a stroke on there, so I just want it to look like a blue background. I'm going to click on the black arrow because that's what you should do every time you draw something. And you can see down here where it says Layers, you can see that my blue square is now in here. Let me click on this little arrow here, and you can see that the rectangle is now there. I can click on the eyeball to hide it. But even more powerful than that, there is a small empty square here, and if I click there, a lock comes. And now you can see that I can't move or change or delete this rectangle. So what I've done is I've put a blue background in the back of my page, and I've locked it so that it doesn't move. Let's go back. I'm going to change the fill to orange, and I'm going to draw a rectangle on the screen like this. Click on the black arrow, move it up, resize it like this. I'm going to again go to the rectangle. This time I'm going to make a light green, and I'm going to just make a small square like this. Click on the black arrow and move it up over the red rectangle. Now you can see, as I draw shapes in Illustrator, over here in my Layers panel, everything that I draw has its own little section. So you can see my blue background is there, 
the red square or rectangle that I drew is there and the green one is there. So that every time I draw something, copy and paste something or type something, it will appear here as a different layer. Now, what if I wanted the green rectangle underneath the red rectangle? Well, that's really quite simple because I will just, with my mouse, click and I'm going to drag it until it's underneath the red, let go, and you can see up here on the screen, the green rectangle's now gone underneath the red. And in this way, we can move things up and down in Illustrator really quite easily. If I don't want something to move, I lock it. If I don't want to see something, I click the eye and it will hide it. So you can see that this layers panel here is very important and that's why we moved it from here to the bottom so that it's always visible. So that's a very quick introduction into the shape tool in Illustrator and the layers and also the properties panel which is really important.